A Liechtenstein repair with the amid stapler will be demonstrated. The deep layers are divided. Note the pubic tubercle drawn with a dotted line. Hemostats are sufficient for exposure. After dissection of the sac, the spermatic cord is retracted and the previously cut mesh used for a Liechtenstein repair is introduced. The amid stapler is used to first fix the mesh to the medial aspect of the inguinal ligament, being careful that the mesh extends 2 cm medial to the lateral border of the pubic tubercle. The mesh manipulators are demonstrated. They are static and are used to position the mesh. Here, the mesh is elevated into position with the manipulators. The stapler is made to allow the staples to be fired in a parallel plane with the femoral vessels. A third staple is placed more laterally. And then, the mesh is cut, creating two tails. The top tail is placed under the spermatic cord. And the stapler is used to staple the bottom edge of the upper and lower tails to the inguinal ligament. Here you see the fourth staple. The next staple is placed into the rectus sheath, one centimeter cephalad of the pubic tubercle, an important technical detail. And here you see the mesh is two centimeters medial to the pubic tubercle. A buckle is created in the mesh and the sixth and seventh staples are placed into the internal oblique aponeurosis, being careful to avoid the iliohypogastric nerve. Good visibility can be obtained with only hemostat retraction of the external oblique aponeurosis. The deep tissues are closed with sutures and the skin can be closed with the stapler. The staple counter is shown in the inset.